Hi there, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to be making a beetroot and berry smoothie. So uh, I guess to start with the reason why I'm going to use beetroot is it's got quite a lot of um, health benefits to it. It's kind of one of those love it or loathe it type of vegetables. Uh, but it's been around for many thousands of years. So um, anyway, I've um, prepared three beetroot here um, and I've peeled them. Um, I guess you could probably leave the skins on them if you really wanted to, to keep them authentic. Um, but just, I find the, the skin a little bit tough. So uh, in terms of just getting it through the blender, it's a little bit easier if you peel it. Uh, beetroot's a really good thing for people to have um, for a number of reasons. Um, it's full of potassium and magnesium, iron, um, soluble fiber, which is really great for your digestion. Um, and it's been used over the years sort of to aid, um, it purifies your blood, lowers your blood pressure. And um, it's really good for things like constipation and things like that too. So really handy thing to have. Anyway, so what I've done is I've prepared three, uh, three beetroot. So I'm just going to chop them up just a little bit smaller to put into the blender. So just chop them up into sort of quarters, I guess. Um, Bear in mind that your fingers are things that are going to go a little bit red because um, beetroot bleeds. Um, and also be aware that if you're having beetroot like this, um, the effects of beetroot later on, um, particularly when you pass water, um, will cause things to be a little bit of a funny colour. So don't panic if that's what happens, it's just the smoothie that you've had. Anyway, so I guess we'll start. Um, just a handful of ice cubes, so I'm talking about sort of eight or nine ice cubes. So we'll throw those in. Throw in the three beetroots. And we're going to throw in about half a cup of water. So I'm just going to grab half a cup. And that's just Basically, the, the moisture in there just helps get the um, blender going. And we'll just pulse that. So the key is, to, the key is just to get the, the beetroot started um, and to start getting that broken up. And immediately you've got that really cool, bright sort of red burgundy colour. Smells quite cool too. I mean, I quite like beetroot. Um, so we're putting in a dessert spoon of uh, ground linseed. Again, linseed is something that's really good um, for digestion in terms of aiding that. So um, you can either buy whole flax seeds and grind them up in your coffee and spice grinder, because um, obviously flax seed and linseed are the same thing. Um, but for the benefit of this, um, I've just used some ground linseed, so you can get that from your local health food store. And again, really good stuff, good for digestion, and it's um, gluten-free, so awesome. Also going to throw in half a cup of boysenberries, and I'm going to throw in half a cup of blueberries as well. Blueberries are great, as you probably know, they're sort of the ultimate antioxidant, so they're like a superfood. Um, and it also helps just flavour it a little bit too. So um, that's the berry part of the banana, uh, of the beetroot and berry smoothie. And I think just to bulk it up a little bit, and because I quite like bananas, um, I'm just going to throw in the banana as well. And chuck the lid on. Have a wee look and just check the consistency. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, but I'm just going to give it a bit more of a pulse to get it going. Here we go, and we're done. So, going to get the lid off. Wow, it's a really cool sort of velvet red uh, colour. Uh, would actually make brilliant paint. Um, Anyway, it's, it's, it's a very, very dark smoothie, but again, pretty yum. So there we go, we've got it. It's a beetroot and berry smoothie, and it tastes good. Mm. 
Awesome, guys. Enjoy.